It's me, Zim, and we're here to play some Crossfire. Uh, now, I've been wanting to play this game ever since I downloaded it, and I'm wanting to do a video on it. I'm going to show off one of the weapons that I get from a, a mission, and then I'm going to. Hold up a second, I gotta change my volume settings for me. No, I can just turn it down via headset. There we go. You guys get the full experience of the volume while I have to lower it because it hurts my ears a little bit. Um, I got a new mic. It's called a Content Each. And not only that, I got a new Universal Charger for my computer because uh, that thing broke and I couldn't play anything for a while. <coughs> so, here we are. So here's my items. I have all this in my storage. I got my, uh, my... Persona Blade, which is going to expire in 21 hours. Got my SOCOM, got my FN F2000 Red Bull, and we're ready to go. We're going to play some PvP with this gun because I, I, I really. No, as a matter of fact, we're just going to play one PvE match and. We're going to play a PvE. Okay, that's full. Okay, that's. Okay, we're going to play a PvE match with this gun, then we're going to go back to my FAMAS, and we're just do regular games. Um, now you guys are probably wondering what the frick is this game and, and like, um, this game is basically take combat arms, take all the crappiness from it, squeeze it out, wring it out like a towel, take Counter-Strike Source as it is, mesh it together, and there you go, you got this game. Now. Some of you guys, since I said that, probably are going to be skeptical, like, okay, so it's a mix of Combat Arms and Counter-Strike Source, so the graphics are going to be old, but the gameplay is going to be like Combat Arms. No sprint, actually, no, there's going to be no sprinting. Um, everything's really cheap. You get a lot of GP from playing games, uh, whether it be PvE or PvP. I recommend PvP Search and Destroy for a crap ton of GP or knife only games because you get lots of GP in those. Fire in the hole. So here we are in our first PvE match and looks like we just got started because everybody's still on round um, six. And actually this is actually the first one I made my first video um, for this game. This is actually the first map Fire I tried it hole. on. Oh sweet damn like what the frick dude. Uh, I want a mini gun. Give me a mini gun. I could slide. They had a little slide feature in this version of survival. What the frick is this? Oh my goodness, I'm shooting la lasers. I have a laser minigun. I thought I was getting a regular run of the mill minigun, but no, they gave me a laser one. Oh, let me the monsters. Dang it, I'm out. I got you, kid. Run! I'm not getting all fired. On the horde. Frag out. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. I can say this game 100% better than combat on back that you get all these cool weapons to fight that so not only that uh there's a lot more events to talk about that so if you're willing to play an MMO FPS that has like a lot more fun to it like this I guess play this game you're gonna enjoy it. Also a little feature about these little walls over here which I just found out in the first video that got that didn't I was that didn't turn into an actual fire file. If I slide up against this let me Yep, if I slide up against that I get launched over here so I can escape any danger. Which is a good thing because uh that doesn't need to be tactic. There's also the spin kick, which is technically like the round down that I use it now. I can get any enemies that are in front of me uh, away from me. So 
far distance, also giving my team a chance to get out of there. So I soak off. And one thing I love about this pistol, hit it with the lariat. Yep. Freaking the lariat pistol. Like, you usually lariat a pistol whenever you're using like a revolver or something, right? Nope, you can do it with a freaking soak off, bro. And I thought lariating was boring. Now that I have the soak off, I can do that. That's awesome. You can't do it with the silence version, though. It is FF2000, uh, FN2000, FNF2000, but this is a modified version, uh, FNF2000 Red Skull, so the modified version of the original FNF2000, um, the, F2, the FNF2000 originally only has 30 in the magazine, but this version not only does it have a little bit more, a little bit less recoil, and it's a lot more stable, but it has uh, seven extra bullets in the magazine, so it's easy to get this gun too. It's just a good place to get it from, but I'm not even sure what it was, so don't bother trying to ask me. And you're gonna get shredded. How do you like that? Leave it for days, bro. That's awesome. And considering the fact that we can slide with this thing in our hands. Oh, here's the survival round. We can destroy them? Oh, you can destroy them? Oh my goodness! Oh, I don't need ammo. Oh boy. Ooh. Here's what the Persona Beta actually looks like. It's pretty huge and you get it from a boss. You can get the daily version or the permanent version, but the permanent version you have to play on expert to get it. Which is pretty cool because the current version actually is pretty good. It has a longer reach, or it's a sword when you expect. Woo! <laughs> Tried to squish me, bro? <laughs> Freaking clutch dodge over here. Oh boy! Woo! <laughs> Look how my boys over there just stand there like, na 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 na, nothing's happening. Oh my god! Although it costs stamina, which is why there's a blue bar next to it. Let's destroy enemies and get it back. Basically, as I can say, give like a hint of courage to get something out of your way. Hi, Atlas! Also, you keep the med supplies when you pick them up, so basically if you're like, oh, I'm gonna pick this up, you'll get a free med. So you don't have to, like, you know, scrounge around and, like, med supplies when you don't have to buy them or do uh, other people to actually get them. You can just get the free ones from this one if you want, if you're a DJ. Or if you're not a DJ, other PvP stuff. And you're probably gonna ask me, can you buy every gun in the game that's GP? Yes. The game gives you 200,000 GP from the start anyway. That's why most people already have like GP guns. Got a 10 killer because freaking I lured them all the way over here. Yeah, 
Get out of here. So, wow, I could have opened the barricade. Try it again. I had to do it at a different angle. I had to do it before I get there. Whee! Suck it. Wait, I got a nade? Where'd I get a nade from? Yeah. Fire in the hole! Pick it, we murdered a whole squad. My question stands for this guy. Can I kick him? If I kick him, will something happen? That was actually kind of cool, actually. Slide up against the wall and literally just... Like, defy gravity while sliding up against the wall. Fling yourself across the map while reloading. In order to get to the main guy. Which is good right now. We did it. We killed him. That was that boss fight. Now we're gonna go into a. Di now we're gonna switch weapons, and then we're gonna go into a PvP match. I know it's probably gonna be really bad because of the fact that number one, I'm not that good at PvP, and number two, this game is really sometimes overgiving when it comes to PvP. I got two of those. That's nice. Oh, hey, I got an achievement for that. I do get kills in this game, it's that I don't get enough to on my KD. Uh, usually that happens. Insta headshot, don't even know what happened. go I went three and three I went even but I wasn't even in the game for long though <laughs> um, I'll probably show you guys the store and what's up with it like what's new what's ticking what's like what can you get and, like all this good stuff and all that stuff uh, last boss machine guard girl boss will heal himself by calling battery box oh I actually never heard this cutscene before Sound good. All right then. All right, here we go. We're about to get hit with the blunt with it. Ah! Some of the drones.
was that? Someone's doing nade. Thanks, bro. Whatever you are. Those ammo boxes, they refill not only your primary but your secondary as well. So, if your secondary wasn't loaded and not only that does not have any ammo, it'll give you uh, ammo back. Look at how she turned around and was like, oh no. <laughs> Damn! Did that much damage? Dude, claymores are awesome. Get out of here. Oh no, he's in the air. Get down. How do you like that, bro? I win. She's probably new here. He or she's probably new here. Wow, a black and white cutscene of the boss. It's funny that I can flip the camera upside down so that everything's upside down. I'm alive! I think a claymore will help. Last round, and we got a bonus round. We gotta protect the pengu. Or the penguin. Or the penguin. Uh. Put the claymore over there, buddy. Protect the penguin! If we protect the penguin, we get a health boost and not do that. Uh, something's randomly special. That's so cute when he runs. I'm gonna rip him. That way he doesn't get attacked from one front. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna drift away from him a little bit so you don't have to hear the annoying cute running sound. What's he armed with? He has, he has a ammo, an ammo belt on him. Like, if I press E on him, it'll probably give me ammo or something. That'd be cool. Or 
that's literally named after. And not only that, ooh, you got a get bro. Not only that, it's pretty powerful. But actually makes you that, which shred his health like insanely. Shredding him, dude. He just started playing. It took him into like a one man squad. Now it's three. Now it's six man again. Like, how many people are here? Freaking, we five man this like it's freaking a destiny raid. What the hell? But hey, we did it. And I got a gold crate. Thunder Blade. As two attacks of Persona Blade, and I have it for a little bit until like the first 24 hour, 24 hours or 21 hours end. Um, it has uh your press and hold attack, which you just constantly swing, and you have your right click attack, which allows you to um increase my armor. Um, has your right click attack, which uh does like an like it's an insta kill whether it hits or not. Alrighty, now to introduce you guys to the main things in this game. Storage! And by storage, I mean where all your weapons and gear and all that stuff are. Obviously, you know what it is. Keep track of all your stuff, all your weapons, and such. I've got plenty of good amount of weapons. As a matter of fact, I was trying to do a video and I got this gun and I was like, holy crap, that's actually pretty good. So, yeah, you got your primary stuff. You can check if you have rifle, assault rifles. You should put assault right next to it so people don't get sniper and rifle completely because rifles can rearrange from a bolt action sniper rifle, a bolt action DMR, a DMR, a regular DMR, or an assault rifle, or a sniper, so yeah, you can do snipers, SMGs, MGs, and shotguns. You also got stuff weapons are basically your pistols. I got a deagle and a one, and a deagle that literally is only six days, which makes no sense, because I got this deagle for free without the day thing. But this one I just got from a, a black market crate for GP. Um, I got these dual green uh, vein desert eagles that come with four extra bullets in the magazine. I got the uh, the, the Anaconda Fast Draw uh, FW. That's from um, mm -hmm. but. Uh, It'll turn to a, a GP well, uh, this is like a good revolver. It also has two extra bullets in it. I, I used to have six, now it has two. You get your character. So you can get so you can put like specific gear on your character and stuff. Um, items which you can use in game. And I also gonna open these crates. I have two of these. I don't know why, but I don't know. the gold one. Got a free revive. Silver. Got a wrench. And I got a foul. Alrighty, I get to select what I can get from this. So I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the silver one up here. Okay, thank you. Now I'm gonna go with EMB silver right here. What do I get? Get a better field radio along with some more med med um med shots, med hypos. So I got five med hypos and one large. And how many revive tokens? Eight revive tokens. Holy crap. Um, I'm almost close to being um, Staff Sergeant Class 3. That's nice. I got most of my money back. Uh, you start off with 200,000 DP. So uh, you get to buy whatever gun you want. Like, you gotta level up for a few of them. Like, I had to level up like a few times to get my SOCOM and my FAMAS, but other than that, I bought them and I was good to go. Now, here's the black market. This is the main place where people go to get ZP crates, but we're not going to talk about those, considering the fact that um, you need to pay actual money to get ZP. But if you're lucky, if you're one of those lucky players, they're having an event where if you're one of those lucky players who plays the game, you'll get um, 200,000 ZP, I believe, and you'll be able to um, do these crates if you want. Plus, they're pretty cheap with ZP, so... And not only that, um, 
you can probably buy some ZP weapons and gear and stuff, but I'll gotta get to the item shop to tell you about that. So here is the weapon crates for GP. Now if you want if you have a crap ton of GP or if like you wanna do some like spending see if you can get a perm, then uh, just start going around on these. Now the the way they're named, like the A bolt shotgun, if this is A bolt shotgun GP great, that means you have a chance of getting either a permanent, a seven day one, or not even a seven day one, chance of getting permanent or something random. So for example, if you want to start up a GP crate like the KSG-15, I've been trying to get this gun for a while now, but if I open it up, I have an option to open only one for 2,000, five for 9,000, and 10 for 16,000. That's pretty, that's pretty good to be honest if you have a lot of GP on you. So if I press OK, it'll spend 16,000 GP, and I'll go here. Now, if I push this button, it's depending on how much power you put it in. So if you put, like, full power, it'll spin for a really long time, and then it'll give you whatever. Like, see? Like that. Now, if I give it half power, it's going to spin for a few seconds, and it's going to go in there. And that's what I get. And I just need to west, waste all west. I need to waste all 10 of these to move on right there. I haven't happened to try to get up pretty well. And full power! Once again with full power. Partial full power. Getting a gold one's actually pretty hard, but anyway, you can repurchase if you want to keep going, but I'd rather not. So I'm just gonna select all, transfer all, okay. Select all, transfer all, okay. Now, after you transfer all, it's gonna go into your storage and you're gonna see it all. It's gonna accumulate how many days. Like, for example, let's say you got, uh, like, during the crates, let's say you got, um, a P90 for like seven days. If you have that times like five, you will have the P90 for 35 days, and so on and so forth. So basically, you can just keep racking up, racking up, racking up until like you have the gun for like I don't know a year. Who knows? And if you're lucky, you might like bug the system, and make it permanent. So yeah, if you go to yeah, well, oh wait, I already went to storage. Now let's go to the iron shop. Fire the short burst better actually to conserve ammunition. Crouching while shooting unless it's even higher accuracy. Threat hold the control. Yeah, that's the that, this game gives off tips in game and during loading screens and when you're running around in the store. But anyway, don't mind all this stuff. This is ZP stuff except for this. You can get this for GP and get this for GP. But other than that, um, everything here is affordable. For example, if I go to primary and rifle, just ignore these two items. And then if I scroll down some of these guns, like for example the AK-47 camo, uh, that's for ZP, but that's only for seven days. Anything that's for ZP is unlimited time, except for uh, some ZP weapons and the ZP crates. So, for example, I could buy every single weapon here that's not made it not for ZP. I can buy the AK-47, uh, AK-47, AK-74, AK, uh, FN, FNC. HK-14, that's ZP, I didn't even know that for a minute. Wow, some of these guns are for ZP, but anyway, you got... You could, wait, hold on. Uh, GP items, there we go. You can buy the AN-94, AK-74, FN, FNC, M4A1, the Pindad SS-2, I recommend it for newbies, because that's actually a pretty good, accurate gun. Um, the Tanto WZ-88, um, the Ruger Mini 14 K2, the FAMAS, my baby, um, SG552, and the Star Arc A1. Now, if I go to all, actually, let me check the other weapons. There's more weapons in here. Oh, yeah. Um, depending if you level up or not, uh, you gotta get to restricted level to unlock weapons. Like these weapons, the reason why I didn't see them in the store when I pressed. Uh, rifle is GP only is because I don't have them on the, oh wait no I think I pressed something wrong then but rifle is GP only uh, yeah so basically I have them for like if I get to staff sergeant uh, class 4 
I'll be able to get the X mate. Um, if I get to this rank, I'll be able to get the Scar Light. Uh, I'll get the Tar 21 if I get to uh, Stat 4, along with the QBZ 95, which is another bullpup puppy weapon. Um, I can also get the G36K. The uh, 36C is um, a uh, crate item, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't checked yet. But here we go. We got the item stuff. You get you can get stuff for GP like this, 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 even this panda hat. Alone, these night vision googles, uh, and some other stuff in here. And it's a pretty good amount too, cause look, like look at all this stuff. You can get arch for GP, which is actually pretty cool because she's permanent, and like that, all her gear is permanent. Independence and independent flash resistance, or flash protection, as it says. I mean, oh, this only lasts for seven days, though. However, her independence that she can wear. She also has her honor guard. Which says it's a pistol, but it looks like a silencer. A pistol carried by Arch when she lost one leg. She named the pistol on her guard and carries it around despite no, it no longer functioning as a weapon since it's a valuable piece of equipment that reminds her of the day she was de defeated. Oh, that's kind of sad a little bit. Like, on her guard, her old pistol that got destroyed that can't be shot anymore. She kept with her ever since she was defeated. There's also this uh, Douglas, a hat worn by Arch when she was promoted to, to a marshal and now holds special meaning for her. The hat was named after one of her heroes when she joined the service. Like, all these are the characters you can buy. You can buy Sass, you can buy SWAT, you can buy Amo, you can buy Amo 2.0, you can buy SWAT 2.0, or I have Sass 2.0 because I chose him first. Anyway, um, you also got the head gear, up gear, lower gear. And that's about it. If I turn GP, all, all items, see all the ZP gear and all that stuff and all that, but that's not really important. Do you really care for ZP gear if you're a GP player? Because I'm a good, yeah, I'm a GP player. And besides, GP players actually do get most of the benefits here. Now that we're done with the store, aside from all the items and stuff that you can get, because you probably already know, GP, blah, 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 ZP, and all that, bags, VIP, which is over here, which I do not recommend, because, well, I do recommend if you want a uh, free customizable M4A1S Radiant Beast, you can color it in the, the way, any way you want for only 125,000 ZP, and you can get these bad boys, or this, and this. And this, along with this, and this, and this. Oh, what about this? Oh, hey, look, look at this. Hey, what about this? Hey, look, look at this. Hey, what's this? Oh, hey, look, look at this. Oh, that's a pretty cool Thompson. Freaking Colt would freaking bust the load for that thing. Anyway, oh, and yes, there is a Thompson in this game. It's a GP weapon. No, it's a crate weapon, so. And there's a question mark here, which means there's going to be a weapon coming soon that's going to be in this slot. So. And then we go with the Noble, and there's nothing really much but this gun. Um, it looks pretty cool to be honest. You can, um, I can't really turn it around. Oh yeah, I can turn it around now. But yeah, you can turn it around, look at it, and also it has a, even, even has a chick's face on it. If I can drag the thing, see, right there, so cute. Anyway, and then you got Destiny, which basically we have the, uh, the characters that are VIP, you have Trixie, Trinity, and Viper. And there's gonna be more soon, depending on uh, updates. So uh, yeah, that's um, the VIP and stuff, and the item shop, let's go to Mileage. Now Mileage is the place you wanna go if you want to, uh, I like how he stares at the store. It's like, ooh, I could buy this stuff, I could buy this, buy that, cool. But um, here's the Mileage stuff, you got you can buy stuff for mileage for a day or seven days, depending on how many days it is. And you can buy some for permanent, like the Zwan the Yon Sword, this one right here. And you can buy the Gatling Gun Blue Crystal, which is actually pretty cool. There's also some uh, primaries, along with the cri other crystal weapons, like the Red Crystal AK and the M4A1, along with the M4A1 Liberty. Uh, there's also secondaries, uh, the dual cult RD, which you can get for one day. You can keep buying it if you want to, because if you like the gun. Um, thrown weapons, you even got melee weapons you can pick up. Um, you can even buy a perm character for 18,000 MP. I have 6,550, so the only thing I'm going to buy is probably the 
the uh, Zorm Yon Sword. Uh, okay, so I'm actually getting up there. And then here's the most important part about mileage attendance. That's right, there's an attendance record in this game. Unlike Combat Arms, unlike Combat Arms, and a few other games out there who are uh, MMO FPSs, Crossfire has an attendance board. Basically, the more you attend the game, the more MP you can pick up. You can pick up 18,000 from the start. You get 450 MP on the fever time. And then it goes on, 700, and it goes to fever, and it goes to another 700. Then it just goes to GP, and then it just, just trails on. If you keep going and going, you get down to the gold box and the 700 MP right here. Which, if you get this, you will not only get the 700 MP, but you will also get either gold weapons that are selected down below, as you can read. Um, either the AK-47 Knife Ultimate Gold for 30 days, M14 EBR Ultimate Gold for 30 days, Bison PP19 Gold for 30 days, Jackhammer Gold for 30 days, and Field Chover Ultimate Gold for 30 days. So if you open that box, you get either one of those five weapons for 30 days. Also, you get special event and weekend boxes. So basically, you can get this box during the weekend or Saturday or Sunday, will uh, receive a weekend reward when you log in on Saturday or Sunday. So I, I recently just got this box and I opened it up and I got that um, that golden G11. Um, you get this box and the event box at the very end. Um, uh, I haven't got that. I already got this event box. As I said before, I got the G11. And that's it. You can also go to the shop if you want to. To actually to the, M the MP shop straight away once you look at attendance. And this is your fever gauge. What this will do, the gauge is changed when logging in and playing. If the gauge is full, the fever time above and MP are given. You get rewards at certain stages of gauge. Friday, Sunday, Friday through Sunday, fever duration and charge rate improve. So, basically, my fever gauge right now is at 100. So, basically, Here's how it works. First time fever gauge buff 40 minutes. If if I'm at fever gauge one, I get a 30% through 50% uh, uh, XP and GP gain and a 10% 20% ZM score. Second second is 40 to 60, and then 20 to 30, and the third is 50 to 70, 50 and 30 to 40. Which is actually pretty cool because that means you have a chance of getting more XP and more GP so that you can buy more stuff. Which is actually a nice thing because y y you know the events at Combat Arms, right? Well, those events aren't really that special because in fact all you get is weapons and stuff. And sometimes they're not even permanent. It only has like one day or like two or three. This game, they give you like buffs and everything. Same thing with the fever time and all that stuff. And some of this stuff, and also, if you're stuck in a tutorial, like me, for some strange reason, you get free items. For example, um, if you start off the game, you get the M16, but then you get a free Desert Eagle. Now, that's pretty good, because this is a pretty good gun. Um, you then get, I mean, a few other guns, and then, like, if you continue on with the tutorial, you get more and more and more and more and more, and then it'll stop giving you a tutorial later on. You can also repair your weapons for a pretty cheap amount of GP. Um, I've actually seen so many games that have a repair system that you have to pay for it to repair your weapons, but they're really expensive. For example, Warface, I had to pay like $754 to fix one of my um, SMGs, and it was like 60% durability. So yeah, um, I don't play the game anymore because I'm bored of it. And besides, I just, I just, yeah, the gameplay and style just bores me a little bit, so. And, and I started playing this game. So anyway, that was it, guys. That was me trying out Crossfire. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do want to try out this game, look it up online. And if if I'm if I'm not lazy or if I'm not tired from making videos because I've been trying to record this video all day, but if I'm not like um, late, overly lazy at this point. Um, I would, during editing, I would add the description in the video, uh, not in the video, I mean in, I would add the link in the description for you guys to go check out the website. Uh, it's basically simple as one, two, three, sign up for an account, download the game, and you're good to go, you can play. Um, uh, one little problem though, all you Mac users are going to have to find a way to get a Windows petition or a uh, Windows based computer because this game is Windows only, unfortunately. I haven't found any, uh, 
I have a, I have to check and see um, if it's uh, for Mac as well. If it's not, then it's uh, unfortunately you guys who are running with Mac need to go grab yourself a Windows computer and try the bad boy out. Which I don't mind as as long as you guys figure out figure out a way and start playing, you'll be good. Anyway, another thing uh, another thing out I wanted to say there will be more Doom. Um, don't be don't be confused on why I haven't posted in a while because I've been on a hiatus ever since my computer's cord broke and it died and my and my mic wasn't working properly so I had to buy a new one off Amazon which is the one I'm using now. Um, uh, yeah, it was, it was just a freaking pain uh, to try and get something done. Also, I was also uh, planning on playing uh, I think some more Doom videos for you guys, because I know you guys love my Doom series. I will go back to Hyperlight Drifter and System Shock 2 when I have the chance, because I've been trying to get um, those vid some videos of those out, but uh, I didn't have the chance to because um, the second episode for uh, Hyperlight Drifter got corrupted, not only that. Um, I also like lost my save file because I transferred over to my um, Windows computer. I mean, I still have it on my Mac, which is that my Windows computer does not have any of my save files. Which is not unfortunate, considering the fact that the game actually runs pretty well on this laptop, which is surprising. But anyway, I will be going back to those games. And I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me playing Crossfire. See you guys in my next video.